Yo, my name is Sarang R. You are listening to Evoke Breakfast right here on Evoke Radio. Evoke Radio. We control the culture. The time is 10 past 8 o'clock. A beautiful song uh, taken from Ace Hood called Champion featuring Jasmine Selvin, featuring Rick Rose as well. Dedicated to us by the very special somebody. <laughs> somebody dedicated this. <laughs> uh, coming up right about now, it's uh, my 9 to 5. That's our segment for today. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful one. We're talking all things photography. Uh, so if you've always wanted to be a photography, if you always wanted to find out how do photographers make their living, uh, what do they study, uh, what's the secret? If I need yoga somewhere in order to get the clients <laughs> and all of that, <laughs> you know, you know, all of that, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We got you. We got you today, right? <laughs> We are joined by Itabang Khate, which is a very successful uh, photography. She has worked with the big, I mean, the big, from the smallest to the biggest people in the industry, uh, companies yeah. to be precise. So we're going to be finding out what's a secret later on, right? Without wasting any time. Please take it away, Mbumi. Oh, I, yeah, I, I, you're I, not I was lost. No, oh, I had hey. to be <laughs> you. Sorry. <laughs> But anyway, nonetheless, let me just continue. Let yes, me just read, you know, some 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 tenyana about um Tabang Khatebe. Uh Tabang Khatebe is a Johannesburg-based photography with a background in graphic design. She studied graphic design in 2005 until 2007. She then landed um landed her first job with Urban Brew Studios. She worked there for two years, then worked for ETV for eight years, and soon discovered her passion for photography after registering. Tabang Photography Ltd. in 2015. Tabang was minted by international wedding photography Rodolfo, right? That's right. Casto of Casto Photo. And we re- owned maternity, renowned, renowned mm-hmm. maternity and family photography. What is that? Bright Liquid Light. Mm-hmm. Bright Liquid Okay. She has also worked with Xavier. Mm-hmm. Xavier. Mm-hmm. Xavier. Xavier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti TV, Milk and Sugar. Uh, Sorelli, Sorelli, Sorel, Sorel, Sorel. Mm-hmm. Media and Grounded Media, highlights of the partnership with Xavier, which has included many exciting projects featuring Tabang photography as a second shooter at the International Wedding Musician, sorry, as a second shooter at the inter- Wedding of International Musician Black Coffee. She's done work for Frigo Glass, Frigo Frigo Glass, Glass. Frigo Glass. Mm-hmm. Toyota Live, American-based company, Women CEO Project, Baby Mamas, the film S A P O A, Laura L'Oreal, right, right, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, mm-hmm. <laughs> sorry, Standard Bank, Escom, Universal Music S A, Pro, okay, okay, uh, Metropolitan Institute, Google S A, Weber Wenzel, and what's that? What's that? Um, the go go with it, go it. Go it, go it. Oh, Guta Institute. Guta Institute. Yes. And Gamble is a girl. Damn girl. Like, <laughs> girl, like, like, yeah, yeah. You even biting my tongue. But yeah, that is. Look, you soldiered on. Thank yeah, you. She on. Thank you. <laughs> we apologize for messing up your bio. We apologize. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, sorry, man. sorry. It's okay. How are you this morning? Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank Unjani. you for dragging me out of bed. I had to. I had to. I had. I'm sure you at, at some time you have like an early morning call, right? Yeah, but it doesn't happen often. I mean, with when I worked at E, mm-hmm. my call time was 4 a.m. So yeah, Flip. I you had to be there at four a.m. I had yeah. to be at work at so four not that she's waking up at four a.m. Uh, she uh, needs to be there. So at 4 what time did you wake up? Yo three. I, I saw but but Baba Loyang, but yeah, like I didn't. You know, yeah, yeah, I was born. Ma pu melake. Hey, sing your name. At some point, people thought maybe as a security guard. Oh okay. Because yeah, know. because the security guard actually wakes up uh, around sure. that time. Around that yeah. time. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank uh, you for having me. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. We just had to get you this studio, right? Uh, before you got in, we're talking about a, a, a very interesting topic, right? Uh, you know, people have types, right? Yeah, when it comes to eating. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do this. No, it's not a difficult one. Okay. It says, 
would you date yourself? Yeah. <laughs> I had to think about it because I know I'm a handful. Okay. But yeah, I would date myself. I also said, I actually, I think I'm too much. I wouldn't date myself. So I don't think I would ever date myself. But you know what? The element in mm-hmm. a certain way and future bay, whoever you are, mm-hmm. don't take advantage. <laughs> but just having that element in mm-hmm. It prevents the other person from getting too comfortable. Yes, 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 yes. You know, that kind yes, of thing. Yes. So I think, yeah, you don't want to splat line. You don't yeah, want to Yeah, you don't want to be predictable. Right? Yeah, true, yeah, true. Okay. You mm-hmm. know, and you want, you want your, yourself or the other person to encourage you to live your own life. True, mm-hmm. right? true, true. So. Okay. I like that. I like that answer. I like that answer. How was your, your, your long weekend? How was the Easter holidays? Did you have any gigs? I only had one shoot on Monday. Okay. And for the first time in a long time, I was able to just relax. Nice, nice. So it and felt really good. I was able to like reconnect with my mom and all yeah. of that stuff. So you look like a yoga person. Do you do yoga? <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why would you say that? Why do I you don't know. Like... You have a yoga face. I have a yoga face. Yeah, you look um... relaxed. Like uh, people that do yoga, they look calm. They look in control. Like, yeah, look in actually, control it's a mess up in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got energy for days. But that's a good idea, actually. Maybe I should consider. I used to do a bit of yoga, mm-hmm. a, a little bit. A little bit. But I think maybe I should get back back into it because it has its benefits. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. When you do, please teach me as well. I, 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 I think I'd love to. Okay. I think I'd love to try yoga. Yes. Uh, why jumping, not? Yeah, why not? Uh, jumping straight to your photography. Who introduced you to photography? So I had gone to a wedding expo in 2013. Mm-hmm. This was before I got married. And obviously we didn't know who we wanted as our photographer. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. So we got to the wedding expo and... When we got there, I realized that there were no black female photographers. Mm-hmm. In fact, there were hardly any photographers of color. Okay. I think I only saw one black photographer and his work wasn't amazing. Um, and for me, it was it raised a bit of a you know concern, mm-hmm. but I didn't look into it. Um, then we booked a photographer from Pretoria. We did our shoots. He rocked up late. The treatment wasn't great. Um, the images were horrible. Mm-hmm. And while we we're doing the shoots, I was watching how he was like navigating and doing these stuff and all that stuff. And I was just like, Mm-mm, I could do this, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I got to a point where I was like, Mm-mm, I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'll buy a camera and I'll figure things out as I go. And I remember the ladies we actually did book for our wedding. I had mentioned to them that I was interested in getting into photography. So I got my camera and I think they picked up that I was serious because I started even way before they shot the wedding. Yeah. So I had already started fooling around with the camera. I didn't know how to use a camera. And then by the time they did shoot our wedding and we got our images and were happy, they took me in and they're like, okay, we will mentor you. Nice. So nice. You, you, you need to show the people that you want to work with yeah, or learn from serious. that you're serious. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So that's how I got into photography. Yeah, nice. Was there, I, I, I know you're saying it was like, uh, maybe the, the the people that shot for you before, they were not serious and, and, and all of that, right? Yeah. Was there a specific thing besides that, that actually caught your eye and you said, Yazin, I'm going to leave everything, because you had a 9 to 5, right? Mm-hmm. And then you had to leave everything and you had to do photography. What caught your eye and said, Yazin, this is what I'm going to pursue? So, with my 9 to 5, I was miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I hated having to sit at the desk. Yeah. Like graphic design requires concentration. And I just got to a point where I'm sick of changes. Mm-hmm. Like trying to wake up one day, they'll tell you one thing, and then the next minute, next five minutes, they'll be like, no, 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 I changed my mind. Like so that. just, yeah, yeah, I just, I hated that life. Mm-hmm. Um, and I could never sit still because I've got a personality that's just like all over the place. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was just miserable with my job. And then with the photography, I realized that actually, you're meeting people. You don't have to sit still. Mm-hmm. You can move around. You get to travel as well in between. And I think my stress is that with the graphic designing, because I worked for a news channel, mm-hmm. my my skill set mm-hmm. was becoming a bit more irrelevant, if I can put it like that, in terms yeah. of the world was moving a different direction with graphics. Yeah. But because I was at a news station, everything was very structured. Mm-hmm. So my skill wasn't as great as where I wanted it to be, yeah. as opposed to like compared to all my other peers. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, I was thinking I'm becoming irrelevant. I don't have a skill. What do I need to do? And when photography came up, it was basically a safety net as well. Nice, nice, nice. So I was like, okay, I get to travel. I can edit images. I get to meet people. I don't need to sit still. Okay, nice, mm-hmm. nice. And then when you were starting, do you ever? I, I know because. 
when like it's like a like a baby obviously umtana manga cooler there's challenges and all of that right uh when you got into photography now after leaving your 9 to 5 did you ever feel like hey, maybe it's not working out photograph can i go back to my 9 to 5 all things just boom just like that so there was one <laughs> instance where i had a tough year mm-hmm. um the whole divorce thing and all of that mm-hmm. and i remember because I book my clients via my personality. Yes, I take good pics, but I connect with my clients. Yes, and yes. I wasn't in a good headspace, so I wasn't booking as much as I needed to. Mm-hmm. And I remember I I spoke to my mom. I was like, "Mom, I I applied for a job as a graphic designer at mm-hmm. some company. I won't mention the name." And because my mom is also like a businesswoman, she was like, "Sorry, you did what?" <laughs> and I was like, "But she's like, you will do no such thing." She's nice. like, "You're in the business space. Yes. Business won't always be great. Things won't always be great." I'm still here. I'm your mother. Go to the way I can. Yeah. But you got to keep soldiering on. No, it's because mm. it's a roller coaster. It doesn't mean good things which is be perfect. And jail. she was like your time is yours. Yeah. Your you mother's know? a treasure. Do you know that? Yeah. Because a lot of people would have said, "Yeah, yes, that's good because hey, our parents are with freelancing parents to not support that." At oh, all. Yeah. Oh. Parents would be like, "No, my child needs to get a 9 to 5 because I need to eat as well." Yeah. 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 Because worth of being a freelancer, you're not guaranteed the salary at the end of the month if you didn't work. Exactly. I remember before leaving ETV and I handed in my resignation. Mm-hmm. Um It was there were talks on so what are you going to do i mean pension fund your 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 medical aid i had a lot of perks yeah but i was so tired of this job that i was like we're taking kitla wona go pe we move thing but mm. it's i do understand that it's not the easiest mm-hmm. thing to take on mm-hmm. in a freelance mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. yeah But at least it gives you inner peace. Hence I said, you know people that are in co- I feel like you're in control and people that are in control of their lives there's they calm and you know there's yeah, that, there's that calmness. Hey, don't be fool. There's certain <laughs> instances where you will panic. <laughs> but you got to keep going. Uh-huh. Speaking out about that, your first client, were you nervous? Did you feel like I'm going to mess up? Wait, it's my first client. The pain client. The pain client. <laughs> Okay. Um pain client. Yo, that's like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, are we talking like the 10 rands or like the proper the payments? proper mad? Oh no, like, can we grow into it? Can we talk from the 10 rands into Okay. Now, you know, okay, yeah. so when I got my first camera, eh? Yeah. I wanted to see how serious I was. Okay. So the benchmark was if you're serious, you'll find a way to get the camera to pay itself off. Oh, okay. So gingi like a scholo to your game, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It was 5k. And I was like, okay, cool. So I was like I need to shoot more. So I would give people a free one hour with five images, right? Free, mm-hmm. free. Okay. But after that if people wanted more than five images because mm-hmm. I'd edit a lot more, like maybe okay. my 60 images depending on how the shoot went. Yeah. People would actually buy the whole lot. Mm-hmm. Nice. So I was making like 500 from a shoot, but with that money I was putting it towards paying off the camera. Mm-hmm. And then okay. it got to a point where the camera paid itself off. Nice. Okay, cool. Okay. That was the 10 rand. That was the 10 rand. Yeah. <laughs> in, in fact, with the 10 rand thing, the most embarrassing thing that happened was there was a time I went on a shoot and forgot my camera at home. Yeah. How? Okay. Yeah. Boyang. I can. Okay. Without the camera. Like okay. it was people I knew, so. Yeah. Um so that was there was that. Then I shot my first oh. traditional wedding. <laughs> This was <laughs> insane because My colleague at work was like, "Okay, cool. We want you to shoot this wedding." And I had taken my wisdom teeth out that week. Okay. So now before taking my wisdom teeth out, I was like, my colleagues were like, "Why are you going into theater?" They yeah. told me stories about, "No, we sat in a chair and we got our teeth taken out." And I was like, "Okay, mosrar, I'll be okay." Yeah. Mm. So I went into theater because gele gwala. Yeah. Mm. So we took out my wisdom teeth. Wednesday I went in. Um, Thursday I was okay. The wedding was on Saturday. I thought I'd be fine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Saturday morning, my face was swollen. I looked like Kanye West. Yo, oh my goodness! <laughs> I thought I'd never get my jawline back. I looked no. horrible. Um, and I remember we got to the the wedding place. Neluko Fosle. It was a tr- traditional wedding. Yeah. And the couple saw me. The the, the wife to be had like she had little tears in her eyes because she was like, "Are you she's sure? You- sorry for yeah. Her. Yes. She's like, "Are you sure you can do this?" And mm-hmm. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, get that shop, you know." Mm. I'll do it. And the guests that were coming in thought I was a guy. So I was Yo. with my ex and they were like, sure, but it. Yo. It doesn't help that I was dressed the way I was, but I looked terrible. Mm-hmm. So you still soldiered on then? I soldiered on. I don't know how, I don't know how I did it, mm-hmm. but I was able to disconnect. So when I focused on a shot, 
I would literally disconnect from the condition of my body, get the shots I needed, mm. and then I'd remember that, oh snap, I'm not feeling well. Yeah. I feel like throwing up for like two seconds and go stand somewhere. But it was and then come back. It was that type of thing. Oh, okay. okay. So that's when I realized that oh snap, I'm actually really passionate about this. Stuff. I, I was about to say, do you know what Yo, that bra. is? That's passion, right? Like there. for real. That's, that's for right real. That's like right for there. real. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. Please feel free to interact with us throughout the show. We are at Evoke Radio everywhere, right? Even on TikTok, uh, we are at Evoke Radio. All social media handles. We also have a WhatsApp number. You can drop us a comment or a voice note, whatever it is. Whatever questions you have for our guest today, we'll definitely read it or play it, rather. Uh, what's our WhatsApp number? 067-230-4024. 067-230-4024. And where do they find you on social media platforms? Tabang R Photography on all platforms. Just that? Yeah. Uh, sure. I see you have a YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Where do they find you on that? Just type Tabang R Photography. <laughs> Keep it simple. <laughs> okay, don't complicate it. Yeah. Right? Okay, so there's some questions from our listeners. Are you ready for that? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> they could ask you. Anything. Let's hear it. Yeah. Okay. Disclaimer. Are you Don't ready? Know everything. Okay. 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 Let's Morning. See. So my question for the guest today is that: What inspired her to become a photographer, and what keeps her going? What keeps her? The, what gives her the drive to pull through in every situation as a photographer? Thank you so much, Anonymous. I wish you had stated your name, but thank you for that comment. <laughs> Uh, did you hear the question? Yes. Okay. So what inspired me to become a photographer was like I said, I don't need to yeah. sit still. I get to interact with people. And people have so many beautiful stories, so many beautiful backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And the photography just opens up a door for me to focus on that. And another thing, what I love about photography is that it's not about me. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. able to serve people. Mm -hmm. So that for me keeps me going. No matter how sick I feel, no matter how down I am, I'm just like, just to see the other person smile makes me happy. Nice. I like that. I like that. Uh, this is taken from Tanda all the way from Timbisa. Thank you so much for your comment. It says, hey guys, so my question for the guest today is why photography and why does she find it easy being a woman? In okay. I think it says, does she find it easy being a woman in that profession? And secondly, is she single? Where does my brother say he's single? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, no, it's not easy. Um, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's male-dominated industry, but obviously things are changing. But it's just the mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got this gift and whether you have 10 million males or whatever, or 10 million photographers, it doesn't affect the lane you're on. Yeah. So yeah. I focus on that level where I'm just like, okay, block out the noise and just do what I do. Yeah. I like and that. in terms mm -hmm. of the I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> Okay, I thought you were going to drop an email where they could send the CV. Oh, oh, how? People, people are going to be waiting. Yeah, like, Ricky, so I guess. Yeah. No, I see. I see. I see. <laughs> you want the commission as well. I see. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Okay, uh, good morning, right? Breakfast team. My question for the guest is, what is her greatest career accomplishment and why? Your career accomplishment. I got to shoot at the Obama dinner in 20, was it 2018? Um, I'm actually surprised I remembered this because they took away our memory cards, obviously non-disclosure and all of that. Okay. But I was able to shoot for Richard Branson. Did you get paid though? Yeah, oh, I got paid. Oh, okay. I got paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a um, lot. But yeah, I shot people like Richard Branson, <clears throat> Obama. Wow. The president, the president of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa. Mm -hmm. Kofi Annan before he passed away. Like a lot of like big names. It, it was unreal. It was a beautiful evening. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that that for me was a big accomplishment. Kind of yeah. Nice. Were you a starstruck at some point? Um, no. I, okay. So the nice thing about the camera is that you hide behind your camera. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So yes. you're starstruck. You get into a mode where you like focus. I'm mm -hmm. doing this. Yeah, they're human. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. capture emotion, blend into the background. Mm. So it's okay. Nice. I like yeah. Studio location shoot? Location. Why? COVID has forced me to do studio stuff, I'm not okay. gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Um, but location's nice. Um, I just feel like you blend like the the, the, the environment. I feel mm -hmm. like studio is a bit too controlled, but there's a lot you can do with studio. It's just my preference is more location. Okay, mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. 
Uh, okay, this is the second question from Rene. From <laughs> she didn't actually state her name, right? Uh-huh. Says, um, why am I assuming it's a she? Okay, uh, it says, uh, what have you learned from your photography journey as far? It's not about me. Mm-hmm. It's not about me. It's about serving. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing. It's humbled me so much. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's my big. Yeah, f- photography keeps me grounded. I'm always on the edge. It's not predictable, and like I say, it's not about me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do do clients um, listen to you more before they see you or after they've seen your CV? Some people, some clients don't even look at my CV. Okay. Um, word of mouth is very powerful, and I always advise people to look at my work before booking me because we all have different preferences. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you could like my work and be like, "Yo, I used her the other day, and I really loved her work." Mm-hmm. But then your friend prefers a different type of style. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's it's clients sometimes don't look, but when they they, book. they just book. Some won't trust me in the beginning because firstly, tabang, sometimes I don't disclose that I'm a female because yeah. we're chatting on email. Oh. So on the day they see a female and they're like, damn, um, will she deliver? <coughs> yeah, okay. and then I deliver. And for me, that's so rewarding. <laughs> Speaking of that, ne? <laughs> a friend of mine used to have, uh, it was, uh, actually not a friend of mine, someone that I used to freelance for, right? Uh-huh. When he has gigs, he used to have uh, an English name. And people used to book him thinking they're booking a white person. So he used to get a lot of bookings. And uh-huh. when he gets there, they were like, Why one at no. It's too late to <laughs> <You should tell, laughs> turn exactly. this guy back. Exactly. But he used to deliver. That's one you thing. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, okay, maybe I need to change Ndando and you know, translate <laughs> into an English name. Ah, For my kids wow. as well, they book and wow. thinking they're booking a white person. Because I think you are trusted because of skin color as well. I think they trust you because of that. Maybe. Yeah, and most probably. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah. in some cases. Yeah. Did you study photography no. besides the mentoring? I didn't. Okay. And um. Yeah, I didn't. You didn't. Would you ever study photography? I was considering it at some <clears throat> point, you know, especially because I want to get to a point where I can impart knowledge and teach and stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Um, I don't see myself running around with the camera for the rest of my life, but I would like oh, to okay. start up something. Mm-hmm. Um. And this is where the Beyonce concept comes up nicely. Okay. I'd like to work with a team of females. You know, I remember sp- uh, posting the other day on my, my Facebook status, mm-hmm. on my page. I was like, where are the female videographers? And <laughs> till this day, I'm waiting. So no so, one actually wow. no, I got one inbox and then I asked to see her work and she disappeared. So that's, that's obviously something that needs to be worked on. But I, I wanna... think I've have I ever met a female videographer. I, I always meet a lot, like especially in weddings, I always meet female photographers rather than mm, Yeah. I think it was a church at once where I saw someone a female was shooting that service but as a second camera and stuff. I've never seen a videographer of female that mm. is actually pushing it that much. You see, so I just like to instill yeah, that type I... that that would be the only reason I've learned. But I mean photography mm-hmm. is very pr- practical. Mm-hmm. It's art. Mm. You know, obviously, yes, there are principles and things that you follow, but I'm on the fence about actually studying it. Okay. I don't like the concept of too many rules. I feel like so many photography students have made so many mistakes in their pictures and have amazing pictures, but we don't see them because they are so blinded by the fact that, no, but I broke a rule and I made a mistake and therefore the world won't see the image. Nice. Meanwhile, it's a, an award-winning image. Nice, nice. So, I like that. Speaking of that, ne, there is... That that series, the blacklist, right? You know, in in in, in videograph, like when you're shooting movies, there's that thing where it speaks about do not cross a line and stuff, right? Mm. If there's two cam, if you're shooting in two cameras, you're not supposed to cross a line and stuff. Throughout the whole movie, the the whole series, yeah, they cross the line so much, but the series still sells, and it's <laughs> like the pitch, it's like it's, it's beautiful, it's, so it's beautiful. Good. But it's yeah, so good. but with here, I'd be like, no, the book says you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't. Also, you you wouldn't want to be boxed, like put in a box and say, no, do you, you know, feel like you're limited in a way. Yeah, because times are changing. Like mm-hmm. we can't apply things that aren't relevant. Like people's perspectives, you cannot box people in terms of perspective. We mm-hmm. see things differently, and I just feel like. Art, that's the beauty of art. You show people what you see. I no. can't see, I can't tell you. Oh, I mean, a textbook can't tell me what to No, you, you are not allowed to see this. And that's one perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. So that, it's true not that. wrong, it's yeah. not right, but it's a perspective. Mm. 
Have you, have you ever met people having an argument and they are all right, but they're just using different uh, source of information, right? The other one was told, the other one is using Google, but they're both right in their own ways, but they're still arguing. And I'm like, but you are both right. It's just that two source of information is wrong. And yeah. <laughs> Uh, just like a, a hair bad day, do you ever have a, a bad shoot day? You. <laughs> it happens. It oh. happens. And it's not even that it's a bad shoot day. You'll miss like one or two shots at a wedding or any at an event. Mm-hmm. You'll forget about all your amazing shots. And you'll be so consumed by that wine shot that you missed. And this is why I created a video about not being too hard on yourself. Because the best you can do is learn from the lesson. Mm-hmm. You can't dwell on it. I used to dwell on it. I'd have sleepless nights. And I'd be like, oh, but that one shot, I missed that one shot. And I'd like not talk good to myself. I'd, uh-huh. I'd, I'd, I'd be very hard on myself. But I got to a realization where I'm like, you know what? Whatever I learned from it, how can I do better? Nice. So bad days, bad days are normal, guys. Like they, 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 I mean, it's life. You, it's how you, you come out of it that counts. So you do have those pictures. How did she be like? Nah, it's all. Nah, it's all. It sometimes clients are happy either way, but you are not happy. Well, I. You know what happens with me though? Mm-hmm. I will do. I'll, I'll take photos today, and then I won't like them. Well, I'll like them today, or maybe look at them tomorrow and be like, I actually don't like them. And then six months later, I'll be like, Oh, these are actually quite nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Do, so, you have, do you ever get clients where you say, hey, Tabang, no, today, no, I already read all. Like, this is not it. Like, this is bad. Um, In the past, yes. And I think that's why I've gotten into the habit of um, making sure people have seen my work before booking me. Oh, Especially okay. if another photographer is going to refer. I need clients to understand that I don't shoot like the other person. We don't edit the same. Mm. You know, um, mm-hmm. we all have like the a style is different. Style. The taste is exactly. different. Exactly. But I've had, I've had, oh, I've had other fellow photographers say, do this and do this. It feels like a punch in the stomach, but you mm. learn at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Let's say uh, you have a shoot tomorrow. Uh, how do you prepare for a shoot? Please take me through your day. I make sure that all my equipment <laughs> is charged up and everything. Um, I obviously chat to the, the clients, get a mm-hmm. feel of what they want. Um, I've started this new thing where, because a lot of people are on Pinterest. So mm-hmm. we create a mood board together. So at least I can see where the client is in terms mm. of mental state. Um, and I do some research on my part. And yeah, sometimes I just close my eyes and envision. Or Like usually when I bath, don't you have like moments in the day where you like think mm-hmm. and ideas come to you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. happens a lot to me yeah. when I'm bathing. Like ideas just hit and mm. I'm like, oh snap, I've got to try this. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's always nice to have like a backstory when chatting to the client because at least that way you know where you're going with the, with the yeah. images. Yeah, especially what they want as well because at the end of the day you're doing it for them, yeah. not for you. Mm. Okay. Uh, any questions? Are you working for someone <laughs> or... Yes. <laughs> I run my own time. Yes. Do you have employees? Yo, I, I'm at a point where I feel like sometimes I need to have people that help me. Uh-huh. Um, I recently have an amazing videographer, Lesoho. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, in terms of admin and things, it's just, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and yeah, I, I need to get to a point where I have people work with me to help me and stuff because sometimes the workload is a bit intense. Uh-huh. Especially when I get double books on a day. I, I, I would rather have someone I'm training up go do a shoot so when they come back then we can talk about the images and they can go from Do there. you trust them though? Because and and sometimes it's the client wants you, not someone else. Because yeah, I'm gonna st- buy face. Yeah, I'm going to start charging more if they want me. I'm like, <laughs> and we're like, okay, you can actually get my assistant who does similar things to me mm. for a less price, or you could get me unless if you Yeah. I think that's where I'm torn. So, yes, I have the company and the company would obviously need a lot of people in it. Uh I was torn at a point where do I want to be a household name Mm -hmm. or an actual work with a team? Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm liking the team concept because at least we're learning from each other. And yes, it's great that a client say we want Tabang. But reality is I can't be in 10 different places at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. what what can I do to leverage that? I can either give business to one of my colleagues. Uh Or... (laughs) I for, a, for a cut, <sighs> you give me a gig and then uh, you take... I don't even do that because oh, it's just, it's, it's admin. Okay. Um, or train up somebody and send them to like smaller things where, like with newborn shoots and things like that, there's certain things I enjoy and there's certain things I don't enjoy. Okay, okay. So and you I know only they... take what you would like at that time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think, yeah, after seven years, you kind of have the right to, you know, mm-hmm. do stuff you enjoy. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. True. Okay. 
Uh, unfortunately, time flies when you're having fun. Yes, the age. I'm thinking. <laughs> Yo, we've been wow. so many things to talk about. Any last questions? Oh uh, no, nah, no, nah, more good. I just wish you all the best. Thank man. you. Double thank face. you. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you. Thank <laughs> you. One last question. Yes. Do you think because your CV is big, very big? And I said, you're the guru of photography. Mm. Your CV is big. Please accept my compliment and. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> your CV is big. Do you feel like you having to work working with bigger brands um, has boosted you or like has boosted boosted your your confidence in any way? Hey, it's a, it has. Mm-hmm. But the bigger, or it made you big headed at some point. No, <laughs> the bigger the brand, the scarier. The, okay. The, I, I remember there was a time I had to shoot for a company, and I was crying the night before. Because I was like, I want to do this. Don't make me do this. <laughs> and I was working under an agency and they sent me to go shoot for these people. And okay. I was like, I can't do it. And yeah, I, I did the shoot. And it was that thing where you get home and you're not so sure about the pictures. But when you edit them and a few months later you look at them, you're like, oh. Flip, I killed it. Yes. Nice. But you're always humble. <clears throat> you're always humble. You're always humble. Yeah. Okay. Any future collaborations we could look forward to? I went blank for a second there. <laughs> but when Reason I do, being? When, when I do think of them, I will make them known. Okay. I okay. can't thumb suck now. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I no, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through. Any last words? Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Thank you for dragging me out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> and was it worth it? It, it was. Okay. Um, to all the people that were listening, thank you so much for all the questions. And I'm hoping that you guys are inspired to live your best life. We only have one life. So make the y'all. best of it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank we you. appreciate Yay. it. <laughs> Ah, uh, the time it's three minutes to nine o'clock. Uh, unfortunately, it's the end. I have no idea if the week they fix is in today or not, but they definitely coming up. Uh, mm-hmm. It's precious with the soul sister. Yes. Please say your goodbyes. Thank you so much for tuning in, and please join us tomorrow, ne? Tomorrow, ne? Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Yeah, tomorrow is yeah. Thursday. Yeah, tomorrow is Thursday. So we're back for the last time. Yes, tomorrow, same time, same place. We are Evoke Breakfast on Evoke Radio. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, thank you for choosing the best thing on the planet. You were with us from 6 until 9 a.m. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Mr. Fulkos, I feel good. If I feel good, I definitely feel good. Cuts favorite child. Yes, I feel good. Yeah, well, we're back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, this is Tawang R. Keep streaming with Ndando and Mpumi on Evo Radio. We control the culture.